Good morning. Hello. Um, so it's like half seven. Is it half seven? Quarter yeah. to eight. We're about to go and get coffee. It is probably like already 30 degrees. It's so hot. It's so hot. Our van last night. There's no wind over this side. We're kind of on a bit of a, what do you call it? Like peninsula. A, a peninsula. So fancy. And basically the wind comes from the other side and we're blocked. So there's just no wind here at all. There's um, no air gets through the van. Yeah. It's just a hot box. So we were just like lying there last night trying to sleep. Really, really, You've really been hot. Below 29 degrees during the night. It was a lot. So we woke up first thing and went for a cold shower. And now we're going to go try and find a cold coffee. Yeah. Um, it's got to be iced coffee. It's got to be iced. But I am going to show you a tour of the campground because it's so nice. It's, it's really so bougie. Nice. Um, the only thing that's missing is aircon. That would yeah. be so lovely. Um, but yeah, we're going to go get coffee and then I'll give you a little tour. So we did a little tour of the campground because it's very bougie. Starting off with the camp kitchen, which is just crazy. It's got TVs and look at this. Have you ever seen a campground like it? All the kitchen tops, you've got four hob tops. Fridges, even ovens if you want to bake anything. Loads of fridges. And then there's a little pool area. There's kids in there, so I don't want to film it too much. Um, and then there's another pool over by reception. So two pools. A games room. Table tennis. It's not like there's much else. But you've got some TVs in here as well. And maybe some games in the cover or something. Making some dinner. What does that look for? Something to drop the sausage. We got basically like salad, and then Karen's got sausage, and I've got quiche, which I've burnt over here. I'm not sure how. I think the oven played me a little bit. Look at these sad little quiches. I 
think they'll be all right. So we are all packed up, ready to leave. We're just waiting for these guests to vacate the premises. <laughs> and we're heading, where are we heading? We're heading to Karajini National Park. Ooh, it's a long, so long time excited. today. Six long hours. Six hours, yeah. So we're doing a six hour drive today. Six hour drive, but we did eight and a half the other day, so it should be easy breezy. Easy, child's play. Child's play. Child's play. So let's hit the road. So we're just getting a little drone shot because we're on a little dirt track and there's no one around. So here's the drone. Can you see him up there? There he is, drone times two, because it's our second drone. <laughs> we're gonna do a little like drive along the side shot. So it's the current shot we have. It's very cool. So we've just driven about 50 minutes into Karajini National Park. We've just arrived at Hammersley Gorge. Or oh, we're just arriving now. Here's the sign. Woohoo! Um, it's all off-road. So if you don't have an off-road, um, if you don't have a four-wheel... What am I saying? If you don't have a four-wheel drive, it's definitely drivable. It's not like the worst roads, but if you broke down, obviously you wouldn't be covered. So I can't yeah. advise to do it. But I do know people that have done it in campers that aren't four-wheel drives risked it they've been fine but anyway um it's slightly overcast today which is kind of quite nice because it's a lot cooler but also i want the clouds to clear so there's nice blue skies yeah yeah so we made it to hammersley gorge it's lovely. yeah We found the spa pool. You had to climb up past the waterfall bit where we were. And then there's like a few pools all the way down to the gorge, which is quite cool. <laughs> quite cool. I'm just having a little sit down. Good morning. So we're driving again. I don't think we actually vlogged yesterday. <laughs> um, so we got to the next gorge. Um, like such a bad headache, really hot yesterday and the ones that we wanted to go to were closed because there was a storm forecasted um, which actually didn't happen until like 2 in the morning but yeah they were closed so we already knew we had to come back today and so we just kind of thought if we're coming back anyway is there any point doing it whilst we have like massive headaches and it's really hot because it involves like an hour or more um, so we just decided to go back to the camp really so we went back to Tom Price, which is the same campsite we stayed in the night before, which wasn't bad at all, but we thought, why not? It's the closest place, like, it's the closest place. Campsite. Yeah, we needed to get back and get petrol, and I think it was about 30 kilometers from where we were, and the other place would have been like 120, so anyway. We are now on our way, and we're doing, so the storm came at like 2 a.m., which was lovely, it because was so nice. it was so nice and cozy in our, in our van. Um, it also cooled down so much, so we actually had the duvet on us, which was so nice. And the sound crane on the fan was just like, absolutely vibes, wasn't it? So we're at Joffrey Gorge. It sounds like you're saying Geoffrey really poshly. Joffrey. Oh, Joffrey, oh, Joffrey, go Joffrey darling. Fetch the tea. <laughs> but Joffrey Gorge. <laughs> It's actually pretty cool. It's very high. I mean, we haven't gone round the edge yet, but the rock, the rock is so cool. And I never thought I'd be impressed by rocks, but look at the millions of layers and years that that has taken. Aren't you impressed? I'm pretty impressed. Wow. Look, even like one ledge, you can see there's like a hundred layers in it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll give you a little zoom in. Show us. So we're currently heading down these steps, down to the gorge. There's, um, I think they're German, there's been a German couple that have been in the campsite next to us for the past couple of nights, so we keep bumping into them. And, so, yeah. yeah, we just bumped into them. They said there's no waterfall here. Um, but I think they went to Dale's Gorge yesterday and they said that there's a waterfall and you can swim and stuff, so. And it's clear water because the problem is basically 
we would definitely not advise coming in like February try and wait until like May but um, it's meant to be rainy season so there's meant to be lots of water but there's not because it's actually not been raining that much but because it might rain they're closing the waterfalls and also um, the like gorges the water's muddy in a lot of places because of like when the, where there has been storms and stuff so don't come when we've come basically but this yeah. is very cool <laughs> Pretty cool down here to be fair. It's worth coming down for, I think. I'm so annoyed about this splodge on the lens. I'm so sorry about it. I'm trying to get it cleaned, but it's inside the lens. But anyway, here it is. And this side, oh, big man himself. <laughs> so this is where the waterfall would be. You can see it on the rocks, the marks. And then this is pretty cool. It's like a Colosseum, <laughs> actually is. And then usually this is all water and then it goes back through to the main bit. Give an end to the fly nets. There are just so many flies. We ended up buying um, a fly net from a petrol station, and it is a savior. I don't know if you can see them swarming, but there's literally hundreds. So we just finally decided that we don't care what we look like. Because <laughs> we've got no flies left, and it's blissful. It's blissful, but also this area was blissful. We thoroughly enjoyed it, didn't we? Thoroughly. Thoroughly. The enjoyment was thorough. Thorough. Yeah. So now we're going to hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back. Yeah, we're going to start a long journey back down to Perth. Yeah. Try knock out a couple hours today. And then we just have 13 more. <laughs> so we, whoa, I look so red. It's hot in here. It's real toasty. <laughs> um, we're just about to hit the road and head from Newman all the way down to Rockingham in two days, though. Two days. Um, but we're going to do the first lot. We're going to do eight hours today. So we thought we'd end the vlog here because we're going to start a new one when we get down south of Perth. So we're doing South WA. Yeah, South WA and we're doing so much fun stuff. The first thing we're doing is swimming with dolphins, which is going to be super exciting. But anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Bye.